Park houses on Summit Avenue in St. Paul are decked out for the holidays. There's maybe nobody who knows more about it than photographer Karen Melvin and author Melinda Nelson. Those two are behind a book called Great Houses of Summit Avenue. And Karen and Melinda are live with us in the studio this morning. Kim and I are already leafing through and geeking out over these absolutely stunning homes. And I think anyone that's been in the Twin Cities has probably taken a drive down Summit Avenue at some point to check out these houses. What do you think makes them unique? Well, uh, the fact that makes them unique is that Summit Avenue is a protected street by the National Historic Register, the whole district of Summit Avenue, so four and a half miles from the cathedral to the, to the Mississippi River. Mm -hmm. So um, all these houses are um, just beautiful for their Victorian architecture, their classic architecture, and I got interested in the houses of Summit Avenue because of the detailing, and it's just beautiful, gorgeous detailing, and I didn't know that much about it, but being an architectural photographer, you know, that's what drew me to creating this book about Summit Avenue. Melinda, I know that we just saw a, a home that's featured on the cover here. Why? This is Sherry's home, Sherry Wilsey. Why was this house picked to be on the cover? Well, this house was designed by Clarence Johnston, one of the notable architects, and the house is exquisite both inside and out, and Sharon and her husband have restored every inch of it with authentic tiles and, and um, detailing inside. It was owned by um, Boynton, Carlos Boynton, and the home um, is absolutely amazing. And when Sherry and Roger walked in when they first, when the house was for sale, Sherry walked in and she said, this is it. <laughs> and it's a home for their children and all of her passions, which include interior design, gardening, and everything else. I think there's a sense of history in St. Paul that maybe isn't quite the same in Minneapolis. Yeah. Are you getting that sense when you're talking to some of these homeowners? Yeah. That's one of the things that I learned about St. Paul when I was doing this book, is that there's a, a deep sense of tradition and history. And, you know, people that live in St. Paul don't really leave St. Paul. They're, you know, gen for generations you can go back and it's because of the schools, the churches, you know, there's a lot of, of uh, private schools, Catholic schools, and people just tend to stay in St. Paul. And, um, you know, it's reflected in their, um, in the city, protecting uh, the street. And um, so it's, and plus they're just beautiful homes. And the reason I selected Sherry's as the cover is, be, well, you can see, uh, leading up to the house are these uh, eight pots of flowers and she decorates them every season differently, and um, she never repeats herself She's competing twice. against herself. She <laughs> is, yeah. and she said there's a lot of pressure because people notice her house. They slow down, they look at it, and they're always complimenting her. And, and, Bel and Melinda has a story about someone leaving a note under her door. Oh. When I was sitting with Roger and Sherry in their kitchen, there was a note on the bulletin board that somebody had slipped in her front door one spring that said, thank you so much for your bold and beautiful blooms that grace the walkway. It, you know, it makes us happy. And it's so true because, you know, we look at the beauty from the outside uh, and the beauty from the inside we can see right here in this book. So thank you so much for putting this together for all of us to enjoy. It makes a great coffee table book and a good gift for this yes. holiday season. And it's thank available you. at all the bookstores, the independents. Barnes Noble and online. Oh, great. All right. Thank you both so much for Thank coming you. in. Thank By the you. way, the only note I've ever gotten in my on my front door is please pick up after your dog. <laughs>